the title you're gonna be discovering a little bit more about France um, we are at one of the most amazing castles in France it's called Chateau de Chambord and it's in the town of Chambord and what we just realized that we're gonna show you when you enter you have like a good 10 minutes drive before you get to the actual castle um the way the play is big <laughs> all right so let's go So the first capital that I'm going to talk about is Lyon and Lyon was the capital of France between 27 and 297 I think avant Jésus before Jesus Christ and it was really really founded because they were having problems after the death of Julius Caesar capital number two this one is the first capital, you know, like the real, real capital at the time of the, you know, kingdom of France between 431 to 508. I'm assuming it's after Jesus Christ. And um, what makes it very interesting is it's a Belgian village called Tourny. Tourny. Tourny, if you want. And, um, now this village is no longer a part of France but it was the first first real capital of France here it is 1831 somebody wrote their names here this is crazy so now we're going into the famous staircase and this famous staircase you will never meet the person who is going up or coming down let's go Gonna stay that way until 1400 and so on. I don't remember. And Clovis, who won that war, is the one who commissioned it. So, yeah, Clovis was running things. So, Paris becomes the capital. Let's see which city takes it after that. I am in front of the theater place in Chambord. Can't go up there, but I just want to. Leave. Know that Troyes, a city called Troyes, will become the next capital of France after Paris because we're in the middle of the 100 year war right now. So, this is probably 1417 to 1422. Don't quote me, don't quote me on the dates, 
but yeah this is about it and um it's like in the height of the middle age war and um the royals commissioned it because you know they were trying to seek refuge and trying to keep their power the so next city is called Tours, and Tours was the capital of france from 1588 to 1594 again don't quote me on dates go check it out for yourself and it was commissioned by Henry III and um, he commissioned it because you know tour at the time was like the base because Paris was under siege and they needed to get back Paris so you know that's where they did all their planning and stuff so tour rain caught us at the fifth castle <sighs> it's also closed <laughs> But we're gonna try to get a view from somewhere else. But let me just continue. The next capital of France was Versailles. If you don't know Versailles, go online and check it out. Versailles is just this grandiose place. And um, they have a majestic gardens, and it's just really, really pretty. It's a castle, a really nice castle. Um, it was the capital from 1682 to 17, I don't remember, 1715 or 1716. Please go and check out these dates yourself. Um, yeah, and it was Louis says Louis the 16th, who said, hey, let's do it here. So, was Louis says that they left C'était le mari de Marie Antoinette. Yeah, so that lady from the picture, Marie Antoinette, that I'm gonna put here, that was her husband. So he was the one who said, hey, let's use Versailles. The beautiful, beautiful, beautiful city of Bordeaux became the capital of France in 1914. Can you imagine? Um, is it 1914? So beautiful Bordeaux became the capital. France in 1914 that was around the first world war and what was happening was the capitals were just going like to move from Versailles to move to Paris to move everywhere and the Germans were just running in and they were like okay let's take away the capital from up at the top and put it down in a Bordeaux because we need security so Bordeaux was once the capital of France still under the rain you see how much my love enough? Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Anyway, so we're now in Vichy. Vichy was the capital of France. And it might not seem like it because um, Paris was still the capital. However, all government um, transactions, everything was done from Vichy. In 1940 to 1944 during the Second World War did you know that the final final one that's gonna shock you shock you shock you shock you Brazzaville and that's the city in Congo can you imagine when the Germans had hold of France those years it's not that the capital was moved from Paris however a you know um, the government they created a special team and that team was sent to Brazzaville in Congo and for a couple of years all political decisions were taken from there can you believe that if you don't believe me go and check some websites or something or if it's not true if it's not correct please leave me a comment thank you so much for all the love and support that I get on this Coco Terrain. We are in the rain. We have been just like discovering different castles in the center of France. And we're just so, you know, in love. Behind me is the Chenoiseau. And that is why I chose the time to just talk to you about French capitals. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like it, share it, and tell somebody to tell somebody to tell somebody because I'm still growing the project, please. Thomas is over there. Thomas! Hello!